Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Boosh. Hmm. I gotta hear this. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max, so pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. How the fuck do you know what Probably you did? Probably easier to write oh, than wait, to visit no. me. No. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. 
I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Wow. Blame. Now is that are you accusing him? Or are you questioning her blaming? Um You don't really blame William, do you? For getting me the hybrid I wanted for my sweet 16? No, I blame the asshole who cut me off and sent me into a ditch. Fucking do hybrid? You remember everything? I oh, saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. What, what missing girl? I don't know her name. I just read about it in the news. I feel bad for her family. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. So that shit still happened in this? Okay. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Why? I think that word, bitch. Take that shit somewhere else. That bird came out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> what is this, Hawking radiation? That's where all this weird shit's happening. Everybody's getting cancer around here. Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. Enough but I am garage. lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. 
Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. I thought and that sounds going to go a different way. A <laughs> I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you can you bring me some water? What? Drink up, Buttercup. It's empty. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. I do remember now. Seems like yesterday. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god. We covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. <laughs> I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am ha. trying to make things right. Gay. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. They should kiss again. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Can you use it with the thing? Chloe is still oh. a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online.
There's the old Chloe. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. God. So here's the DVD player. Now I just need to find the DVD. DVD. Oh my God, I made that mix for her when we were 12. <sighs> like she's Rachel. Ah, here's the DVD. She's dead. <coughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me, and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again, it meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck, um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Where's her parents? Oops. Bills never end. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. Am I getting out of <laughs> anything so out cool. of this? Good. Or I'd be scared Shut if up. I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but um, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. 
It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Ooh, wonderful. I forgot what it was. I guess we stopped growing up together. I never heard much about William's brother. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Nothing here. What'd he do? <sighs> Ewok. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. The bathroom looks almost the same, just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Finally, uh, give me the blue pill. 
I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. No. You're so adorable. Don't touch. Did you turn your finger? Mm-hmm. Did you forget you bought? No. Yeah, you put it on a finger. On a finger. Oh, that's a totally different thing. Oh. And I'm like, I bought that when that was announced at E3. I'm like, boom. And it finally came out. And I'm like, oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> That sweet. What? You haven't checked if the phone charges yet? Well, they charge it. So the phone does charge? Yeah. How is it iffy? It just does or doesn't well, the charge? Case, the case can take a charge. Uh-huh. Because it even has the, the lights on, like, uh -huh. the lights. But it's not putting it to the phone. And then when they hook it up to the light cord, it'll play in the table. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't know if, if the connection has to be, like, a soft spot. Like, in a big spot. So it's just trying to phone it to it. Why? Huh? Why? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like, no, why do you... Like that why does it when you plug it in does it charge is that with a, a not some rinky dinky ass yeah, kind of there's a nice clean like connect what what the USB charger no to the phone so you charge it straight to the phone, not through the case, but to the phone. Yeah. And you're you saying there's a you using a rinky dinky Android one? Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. So it's charging? Alright, so it's probably just the connector on the case then. I like 70 bucks, bro. What, uh, what, what is it a regular? Is it plus? Plus or regular? Alright, so it's just a regular. Plus? It's a regular. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. 
He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> My dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Literally. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? Oh my what god. What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last oh memory. Oh my god. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Oh. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. What? Oh god. Chloe, I'll just drift asleep, dreaming of us here together, forever. They probably fucked this shit up. I fucked it up. Did you gotta fucking turn it? I'm basically just killing you right now. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. God, it sounds like she's gonna kill herself too. photo I'm sorry William and then it doesn't work
Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine taste. Why? Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong, even if you feel like I wasn't there for you, because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back, always. Down, Max. You get one kiss, and now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out, too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. What the fuck did we do this? I don't know any of this. Hey!
So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the dark room. Too bad I don't have what a gun anymore. What the fuck is up with this dark room? Yes, I don't know anything of it. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. That snow doe always makes me think of William and Chloe. It's amazing how innocent our drawings were compared to what we're doing now. That's my Chloe. This is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. I'm getting lost in all this shit. Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. I wish I could tell Chloe how much William cared about her. Yes, Chloe Price was here. There's Chloe's cash stash. Sorry, Principal Wells. She still hasn't fucking taken it to him? I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. There goes that. Looks like David already booked a room. Hey, walk. Jesus, fuck. I'm popular.
Looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Just in time. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, I need to find a way to break this padlock. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts too. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time, if there is one. Okay, I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Jeez, David is packing up wedding stuff too. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. Either Chloe stole another gun or David is out there armed. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? I wonder if David is going to the party. Did I just guess? There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Mm. <sighs> Looks like you need a code to open this, or a way to break in. Looks like David already booked a room. David isn't any different from me when he's looking at those family photos. Ouch. Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. Joyce must be so upset. Are you helping anybody, Max?
Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Photos of Kate and Nathan. Oh, yes. Score. Back to Chloe now. It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. <laughs> Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah? Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot floor teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Boner. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. <laughs> Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Principal Wells was so loaded the other night here. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. Way too much shit going on. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. That 
It's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Brooke doesn't look happy that I'm going ape with Warren. Aww. Hey, Brooke, how are you? Considering what happened to Kate, I could be better. Are you okay? I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? Oh my god. I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. Talk to you later, Max. Hey, Brooke. How Consider. I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Come on, Brooke. Don't be that way. Nathan was suspended, but he should still be on campus. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. Gosh, he's so fucking pissy. I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. Not be pitchy. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. I might feel better to Miss Grant. Really? You are per Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. To clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Climate change isn't real, my ass. I think everything's changed. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ugh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. It's so lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? Every photographer should have one blurry Bigfoot shot.
This can only be Nathan's room. And they get to walk right in. What? Now I need to find that monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. <sighs> Bastard. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. I don't think this prescription has helped Nathan. That is so Chloe. Oh, wait, there's more shit. That is. Oh, my God. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. What the fuck? That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. Oh man, that dickhead stole one of my selfies. Nathan took this from Kate's altar. Why? What is with this dude? These films all have a dark pattern. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Now I remember why I hate you, and why Kate will get justice. Oh man, Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away.
Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Wow. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. I can rewind if he shows up, but I can't count on it. Or cool, now it's open. Max, what are you doing? Hurry up! Max, what are you doing? Hurry up! There's Eagle Eye Chloe scoping out the area for Nathan. What am I gonna do? I just did that. Let's do it again. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. That is oh my god, Chloe, oh, Chloe, I really hope they were all consenting models. Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. Must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. What? Damn, Nathan. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Nathan took this from Kate's altar. Why? What is with this dude? Oh, man. That dickhead stole one of my selfies. Nathan likes his tortured subject. These films all have a dark pattern. That's so cute and ironic. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. Bastard. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used. Nathan is... <gasps> too bad. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. What are you doing? Hurry up! 
What am I missing? This is a... I really hope they were all consenting models. Am I fucking missing something? That is oh my god. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Damn, it's so damn creepy, but yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. That's so cute and ironic. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. Bastard. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. Nathan is way too bad. Yeah. Wow. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Let's see what Nathan. Nathan is way into this party. Bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. These films all have a dark pattern. Oh man, that dickhead stole one of my selfies. Nathan took this from Kate's altar. Why? What is with this dude? Nathan Prescott, all American teen. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back.
Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. You are so fucking dead! Get off me, bro! Warren, stop it! Come on! Oh, oh my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you! You're all dead! Let's go. Now. Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you! Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. Doesn't happen like that. Okay. Warren, stop it! Come on. Oh wait, I want to see what happens if you if I let it happen. Or oh, let's leave it as that then. That was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Um, not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. Give him a kid. Better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. Still has a gun. Don't shoot me. God, I wish I found that gun. It must smell. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole's gonna help us find Rachel. You know what would be great? If I still had a gun. Yes, the chance for gunplay would just about even the odds here. Frank would scare better. He's a pussy. Besides, if I take him out, you can just rewind. 
Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. After Kate, I feel like every time I do, it might be the last. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, Fuck me, LA. and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Forests seem quiet. No sign of life or deer. There might not be any Pan Estates by Saturday. This is where my nightmare started. No worries, sign. How can all of this not be connected to a major storm? Ah, oh, poor little beach ball. It blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate re Good thing there are no actual cops around to bust us. Behold, Frank's beer garden. Take the trash out sometime, dude. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Can't see inside with this shit blocking the view. Oh, fresh meat. So Pompadou must be okay. Good doggy. Why wouldn't he? I didn't throw anything in the goddamn road. Chloe looks ready to rumble. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard now, was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, if you excuse me. Frank, could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank. We're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man, I do not get it. Especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me like you, like you know more than I do. No, no, I'm not, I, I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell, shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank, without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, 
We didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog is... And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now, especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Frank, you knew Rachel almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Together, we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Where the hell's the dog? I haven't seen it. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. That was a lot better than I thought. That was cool Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. You mean have sex? Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. <laughs> 
Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. So, what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Okay, Max, remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Ah. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. That explains a lot. Frank applied this kind of detail to his life? Who am I to talk? Huh. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. What day was that? Or was there a date? Yeah. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. Oh, damn it. Fuck. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. Max, I know we can snap all these pieces together. Roger that. <sighs> Fail. Abort. Wrong clues. If Nathan did drug Kate, he must have gotten the drugs from Frank. Okay, this is just sad, Max.
These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. Of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Does David know what's going on with Rachel or is he just paranoid about everybody? Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. Those clues are not related. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. Looks like this is not relevant at all. <sighs> Fail. Abort. Wrong clues. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under David's surveillance. Spies are us. This makes no sense, Max. Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try again. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under David's surveillance. Spies are us. Damn. I, I must have missed something. And that's all she wrote. Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Wait. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? Hmm. Who does this car belong to? Okay, let's find out whose car this is. I feel like we got the numbers already. Yep, another car David was tracking. Why the hell are you following these people? And to where? Oh yes, now we're finally getting somewhere.
Chloe. Let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. Oh, so busted. Good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. Okay, Max, let's blow this code up and go home. I'm not even I don't even know what that other paper says. Let's start hacking. Phone, phone, home phone, cell phone, work phone. This guy's got a lot of phones. Phone, 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 phone. Bad code. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. You locked it, dumbass. Oh, what? Oh. Oh. Okay, eight, seven, eight, eight. Oh, wait, I can just read it. Oh, eight, eight, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, zero. I am not gonna remember. Nope. Oh yeah. Let's find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. Yes. Uh, 
This is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan, you're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. No, Nathan, it's time for you to watch out, asshole. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. So, this infamous party was the fourth. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. I wonder in the game you can actually that see Bigfoot. That beach is like Frank's main office. 
Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. Poor, rich Nathan. Not much out there. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there too. Looks like this is not relevant at all. If I can match one of the text messages and transactions with Frank, then I can find the exact location. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just a shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. Boop. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. Chloe is so damn fearless. Where does that come from?
she run Chloe, down? Chloe, I found the front door. Come on. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, uh, look closer. Harry, Aaron, Prescott, and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescott's bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. This tractor has paid its dues. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. Talk about home on the range. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Damn, lots of info here. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. So many haystacks, so few, and so many haystacks, so few needles. Nothing here. Whoa. What is this? It's totally brand new. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. Ah, the good old days. Not really. So many haystacks, so few needles. No, Supermax, you can't open this with your bare hands. Okay, Chloe, um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this, I hope. Let me know the second you need any help.
I should go upstairs and get Chloe to help me. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Hop, hop, and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Please be careful up there, Max. Here's the other end of the rope. Hey, Chloe, can you attach the hook to that padlock? Oh, you are clever. I am all over this. I will be done. Then you better step away from that hatch. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Max, use your rewind and get that motor back up there. Hey, Chloe. Max Giver strikes again. need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. The underground bunkers. This bunker is so surreal. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. I don't wanna... Do it, Max. Oh, no. 
It didn't work. Whoa. You locked it, dumbass. Holy shit, that scared me. <laughs> Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. Oops, bad code. You can do it, Max. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. Oh no, it didn't work. Oh yes! I thought that only worked in the movies. Open sesame. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Now what the hell is this? Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. More survivalist supplies. Cereal. That's what you call survival. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Uh oh. Uh oh. Can you imagine chilling in this room? Oh shit. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Those aren't. Son of a bitch. <sighs> Talk about tortured. Shit. Oh my god. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my god. Rachel. This picture is framed different. 
Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel is passed out and she has something in her mouth. This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she's being posed. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. So who's using this fancy tripod? This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. Needles. Gross. Look, this is it. This is it. Are you gonna help me, Max? Chloe, stop. Look. Please, no. Oh, oh that smell. Rachel. Oh.
hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Ah. Uh. You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too much. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Impossible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. <laughs> Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so... I want to have something... for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm a pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. <sighs> Is this the last part? I thought I had a whole Hi, part left. Can I take your coat or anything? There's like no, five. I didn't see any tablet with cat pics. Okay, Chloe, where the hell are you? Ugh, I hate touching all these- uh, Hi, Stella! Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. Why does Nathan creep you out? He should. I, I just want your reasons. He's a bully for one thing, and he hit Warren for another. But have you ever looked at his eyes? Glazed and raging. Me no like. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Do you notice anything unusual about the Vortex Club tonight? Yeah, I noticed they don't give a shit about Kate Marsh. I'm glad for the job, but I think Principal Wells should have canceled the party. Guess I'm not cool enough. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I... I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck!
part of the world like this. It's one of those silent discos. We need to find Nathan and take him down. Justin said somebody saw two moons outside, but Justin... <laughs> I pay money to see Warren kicking Nathan's ass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Object Angel has stepped up every single time to protect me from the cruel world. Thank you again, Mystic Max. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list. Okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Yes, you do suck. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? A regular shitty party. Without glow sticks. Hey, Max! What are you doing in here? If I get oh, sick now, that shit. I can drink more later. Drink it ever clear. Oh god, my stomach. Sit open. What are you doing in here? If I get sick now, apparently Blackwell has a severe toilet paper fetish. My last Vortex Club party! Oh no, not again! I'd like to tear every one of these things down. Oh, oh gross. How did this even get here? Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh, Max. Maybe you're not the only one who has to get sick. Justin's just a little buzzed. Yo, Maximum Overdrive, about time you got here to save this lame rave. Wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. Just not with me. So yes, this party sucks. You're obviously not cool with Trevor dating Dana. I tried to front like I was. But when I saw them together, he came over to cry like a little bitch. No, it's, it's more like somebody who's in pain. I'm sorry, Justin. But you're a cool, considerate guy, and you're gonna find somebody just as cool. Just minus the drama. Max, I know I'm twisted, but... Your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind.
Surprised to see you here. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's a New York club. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Good luck. Hey, Courtney. How are you? Max, our guest star arrives fashionably late. <laughs> Say bonsoir to the end of the world. Even though you flaked on my party makeover, you still get special access to the Vortex Club VIP lounge. You better let your minion know, since she won't let me pass. Oh, that little asshole just made her last mistake. She thinks she's Victoria. <laughs> bye bye Now, let's go make an official VIP entrance, Max Factor. <laughs> get it? No. Hey, Sarah, um, do you know that I personally put Max's name on the list? So you like decide to block her from coming in while I'm taking a break? <laughs> you're not in charge here. Wait, I, I just, uh, oh my God, you're done. And you're off the list permanently. Welcome to the Vortex Club. A boosh. Sport. Nathan is the Vortex Club, so his ass has to be here tonight. I always love talking with She's you. wasted, and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody learns at Blackwell. Here all fuzzy. I am so wasted. A bomb. Give me a break. Surprise, Hayden is trashed. He would dose his own drink first before anybody else's. What's up, Hayden? Oh, hey, Max. Oh. I didn't think you'd actually come tonight. Well, I didn't think anybody would want to party after Kate Marsh killed herself this week. Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some dank OG buds, so I can barely see you. Or are these hotties next to me? You want a hit? No. I want to find Nathan. Me too. He's supposed to be bringing some special party favors. I hope at the party you actually planned a party at the party. Not this week. So has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here, or you could sit down and take a quick hit. What about Victoria? Yeah, go ask her yourself. I would, but like I said, I'm fucking ripped. Maybe you better take it easy tonight. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to have fun. Oh my god. Max, seriously? What are you doing here? Taylor! Have you seen Nathan yet? If I did, it's none of your business. This is a VIP area, so you should get back to the bleachers. Just keep on dancing for Victoria, Taylor. And stay away from Nathan. 
Like, thanks for your concern. I think my photo is very powerful. But we'll see. Victoria, your picture is Chips and crackers. Spare no expense, Vortex Club. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? You dance worse than my dad. Yes, but can he do this? Sorry, okay, Max. Vortex hot. Club members Bust only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me, everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fate we're not supposed to be friends? Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's going to happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, oh. but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Yeah, 350. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. I'm glad I warned her. I hope she's okay. I shouldn't break anything. That 
VIP section is so lame. <sighs> that son of a bitch is not here. <sighs> Where are you, Nathan? I better get Chloe. Chloe's here. Well, she obviously didn't find Nathan. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you, thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Oh my. What a shocker. Victoria Chase. Oh, thank God! Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to the memory of Kate Marsh. <laughs> she was the real everyday hero of Blackwell. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. <laughs> Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Yes, I can. He fucking cares. Rachel is still dead, it, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Stop by the talker. Oh Christ! Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit! We have to go to the junkyard right now. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. I'm not really hiccups. I don't know what they are. You're gonna suffer, Nathan. Come on, come on. Nathan needs 
to die now. Jesus, be quiet, okay? We have to be invisible. Max, please hurry. Oh God, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Just like that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? I'm fucking lost now. What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? See that. <sighs> Killed Frank. Jeez. tomorrow or I'll probably be playing nah yeah tomorrow fuck dude this one fucked up shit one day.